Hello everyone, my name is Luis Rodriguez, I'm from Wien Architecture. Today I want to show you uh, what is Fractal. There is uh, some time that I want to show what is Fractal, but I don't have uh, time. For this example, I want to show the uh, exercise that we use to uh, final session for my student of the workshop Dynamo. Um, for this example, the first thing that you need to know is that you need to send to web the Dynamo script. For this thing, you need to have the program. With the sandbox, it doesn't work. If you remember, uh, I showed you Dynamo Rich or Dynamo Customizer, that is a little a web app where you can change your script that uh, you charge in the web and for this example I am my page if I go to manage and I have some script a chart some script in my chart for this example I choose the edificio parametrico version four and I have some a little slider that I had. Uh, for this example, I want to run this for later because I have a slow internet. But this is like the example that for no Dynamo user, you can use in the web even if you don't have the program because it's a, a web application. There is the thing that I want to show, the fractal. If you go to Dynamo Beam, you can see all these uh, articles about the fractal. For this example, said that 9 millions, almost 10 millions of generative design, they do in the fractal. Uh, for this example, uh, there are some example uh, create for format using a fractal optimization and the first thing that you need to do obviously is accept the terms and create your account that you can use a fractal and if you go to the video uh, you can see how it's work you you can charge your dynamo script and then uh, you need to uh, put output that you can uh, choose, uh, like the optimization way that you want. For this example, in this video, show uh, how to optimize the uh, volume of the building. And for my example, I I have like a six thousand more than 6,000 design and I have some variation. For this example, there are a little variation uh, because uh, I don't want to spend much time for this example. And if you see, I have this a uh, little image that if I double click, I can see a uh, the geometry for this example, but and you can optimize wherever you like. And for this example, Fractal don't use uh, the custom node. They only use the original node that you have in your library. But in this example, maybe you can optimize uh, the total uh, construction area and you can choose like the elements that you want to optimize in, in your uh, orange graph and for this example I choose a little rec with a little rectangle uh, my average uh, total construction that I want to use and for this example maybe I can optimize or I can look for 
the total quantity of column, maybe, or for the floor area. If you see, uh, I have a little filter of this design that I choose for this optimization that I want. And maybe I choose another filter. If you see, I have only four models that is closer to this uh, element that I choose. If I uh, leave the, this rectangle, I have more uh, design that I can choose. And only need to choose what element do, do I want with this parametric uh, variation that I need to optimize. When I have my optimization, for this example, I think this is the good form and is in the average total construction. I only need to click the element and then I can download the Dyna script. Um, if you remember my uh, last class, when you have this geometry, basic geometry, then you can uh, create uh, like a beam, floors, etc. No? Whatever you like, uh, using the uh, Revit library in Dynamo. And if you see, the another is Dynamo Rich, that if you, you can uh, have the possibility that move this element, but it's individually. For this example, if I want to uh, see a dif different uh, design, I spend a lot of time with Fractal. My time is reduced, and I had more time to optimize wherever I want. I hope this tutorial uh, liked you, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.